Oh, that's not good. If you spend any time outdoors, hiking, camping, backpacking, hunting, fishing, any of that stuff. In particular, if you're in remote areas, eventually you're going to find yourself in a situation that either stops you in your tracks or at least slows you down quite a bit. And I've been pretty lucky so far until this past weekend when eight miles into a 16 mile hike, my boot gave out. The sole just delaminated completely from the bottom of the boot. So, flip-flopped my way, and I use the term flip-flop because that's pretty much what it was. I flip-flopped my way another two miles where there happened to be a lean-to, uh, North Hill Placid Trail, beautiful area called Spruce Lake. And that's where I proceeded to make the needed repairs. And as outdoor people, whether we're remote or whether we're park trails or whatever, it's up to us to learn skills, carry equipment so that we're able to deal with these things. It makes life a whole lot easier for everybody else, not to mention yourself. And it's good for you. So I'll set up the camera and I'll show you how I took care of my boot. It lasted another 10 miles and got me to the trailhead into my car and home I went. Okay, so I removed my stitches and now we're back to its original issue. Now a couple things that I carry with me. I actually used to carry a multi-tool here, the Leatherman, I forget which one this is. And but on the Leatherman they have this all right for poking boring holes. But I was traveling light, I did not want to carry this, so I was carrying the Swiss Army knife. This is the Field Master, and this one also has the all attachment. Now, a smaller hole, not quite as long, but that's okay. And the other thing that I carry is the bank line. This is a roll bank line. I don't carry a whole roll, so I usually carry 25 30 feet, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. But anyway, so how I did this repair it was actually pretty simple. Is I cut a couple pieces of bank line, you know, six, eight inches long. You want to give yourself enough to be able to handle. And then using the awl, I bored a hole through the base of the, the sole. And you want to be go slow because that all will kind of pivot a little bit. And you push it through so you can see the hole. Anyway, so once I got it through, then I thread a piece of bank line through the hole. Give yourself about a four inch tag and then pull it through. So now you got that tag in sitting there. And then I did the same thing through the thickest part of the uh, welt, I guess you'd call this, well here. the hole through your bank line through and pull that through 
through. And I did that. And I did that all the way around. You know, about three or four more times around the base. And then after, and here's the important part, don't tie it off until you've created the rest of your holes and got your bank line through. Because otherwise now you're gonna try, you're trying to force that all into that little area. And it's just gonna be a nightmare for you. So once I got them all in, simple overhand knot and bang. Good for 10 miles. So there you have it. Um, a relatively simple fix to what could potentially be a big problem. You can find bank line. You can get this on Amazon. I'll actually put a link. Um, I'm, I'm not an affiliate. I don't make any money. I just if you folks don't know where to find it, don't know what to look for, then you'll be able to find it. Um, if you're, if you're going lightweight, Swiss Army knife. I, I, I can't tell you enough. This Fieldmaster has just been a great little knife. And having that scratch all in that particular situation, that was that was a lifesaver. I'll put a link to this one too, because I also bought this off Amazon. So again, not affiliated. I'm not affiliated with any of this stuff. When I'm affiliated, I'll tell you. And then there's uh, the Leatherman. You can carry that as well if you want to. Like I said, it's it's much heavier. It's a lot more versatile, but I was traveling lightweight. The, the least amount of weight I could carry, the better. So, anyway, I hope you found this helpful. If you spur a little conversation, you have ideas, you know, share a comment, you know. Um, more than happy to hear it. We're all learning this stuff together. Okay. Thanks for watching.